Hey guys, how you doing? Happy Homebrew Wednesday. It's Jake, obviously, again. So listen, uh, just before I uh, talk about briefly about what's going on here, I just want to crack up a, pour up a, I gotta pour something for this video, I <laughs> can't all. But uh, let's give this a try, la 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 la. Huh? One of the hard apple ciders from, oh geez, what was it, two months ago now? Let's give it a pop. Remember it didn't carbonate? A week after bottle, bottle conditioning? Remember it didn't carbonate? Let's check this out, huh? Holy Jesus. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Remember it didn't carbonate? Okay. <laughs> Hold us up. Let's see what we got, huh? Right quick here, huh? Look at that. Look at that. Holy jeez. So you see, yeast survives. I fermented that sucker for four, over four weeks, and look, the yeast is still going. Oh, check it out, huh? Look at the fermentation in that bastard now. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Holy jeez. Let's try it. Let's give it a quick try. Oh boy! Oh gee! <laughs> oh, it's got a little bit of sourness and a little bit of dryness. Oh well, I mean, I think I can still drink it though. Not to not to not totally bad. Not too horrible. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not here to do a review. Uh, I just wanted to quickly show you guys what's going on here with this. All right, so there's what I got going on. So I'm gonna try the wine cooler thing out, eh? And Steve 45 CA started, look. So there I got five gallons of just tap water. Normal tap water in the carboy. And I've got, I put in four kilograms of sugar and I give it a damn good shake. Started up with a bit of warm water. Try to get it dissolved as best I could. I also put in one of these. I also added a tablespoon of this. Of this. Tablespoon of this. Yeast nutrient, and um, well, it um, you know it doesn't go crazy like beer does, but uh, I think it, you can see there it is bubbling. It is bubbling, so it is fermenting in there. So it's going. It's been this has been uh, going on about three days now, so it's still bubbling pretty good. So now the question is, now if I'm, am I gonna leave this go? Uh, how long am I gonna leave this go? For three weeks, four weeks, five weeks? I don't know. I don't know. See, the thing is, you know, yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a, a, a gamble here with it because um, the problem is that the wine coolers that made that Steve made, they turn out really, really good. Amazing. With the frozen juice and everything, right? But uh, Dara wants it to be slightly carbonated, such as how... And here's an example. This is probably good. This is good to refer to this apple cider as I... in this video because... The f after a, a week, I let this sucker ferment four weeks. I didn't do anything to kill the yeast off, whatever whatever yeast was left. But uh, after bottle conditioning, one week, um, put it in the fridge for a couple days, it was as flat as can be. There was no carbonation, zero carbonation. So, I mean, this one here, this particular bottle here, sat in my brew closet here for, oh, I don't know, six, seven weeks. And sure enough, you know, finally, after all that time, she... The little tiny, very, very, very minute amount of meat yeast finally built up carbonation in there. So that comes leads me back to this now. What do I do? Now, do I uh, attempt to, do I kill the yeast off? It's going to be flat. Dar doesn't really want that. She'd like a little bit of carbonation. So maybe what I'll do is I'll let this sucker go for four weeks. How about ferment for about four weeks? Just leave it alone. Keep it dark in here and whatnot. Let it go for a full, a full four weeks. And then bottle it with the juice. And then um, the other thing too is, is that if uh, I've noticed too that if you in in the fridge uh, the yeast won't won't wake up as much the yeast the yeast woke up more and started to carbonate easier uh, it, sitting in here in this brew closet in the warm the room temperature in the dark so you know I suppose if I you know let it condition for a week after the four weeks uh, fermentation it'll get a little bit of carbonation and then throw it all in the fridge if I keep it in the fridge. It probably won't carbonate any further 
unless of course it sits there for two or three months but you know what I'm saying right if it does carbonate a little bit more in the cold it won't be much so maybe I can get some thoughts from you guys tell me what you think about it tell me what you think it's gonna, it's gonna ferment for another three and a half weeks anyway so this looks like a cloudy just it's gone cloudy now it was clear when the yeast was in there I should have filmed it two days ago show you how the yeast run well, it was pretty cool yeah so I don't know we'll see what happens hopefully she turns out good you know we'll get this on the fermented water it'll be probably about you know somewhere around the seven I didn't take the uh, I didn't take gravity reading but it probably be, probably be somewhere around the seven percent mark give or take and uh, you know just slap the old frozen well, juice to it uh, fresh frozen juice to it and it'll be really nice it'll turn out nice but the other thing is too if I let it carbonate a little bit yes it's gonna go it's gonna lean a little bit towards the sour like the bitterness side it's and uh, we want to stay, well, there obviously wants to stay it a little bit more on the sweet side. But it will go slightly to the, to the, to the bitterness dry side. If I let it carbonate too much. So it's kind of like a balancing act, sort of a gamble here. We're playing with, I'm playing with, so see if I can get it right. So anyways, yeah, any thoughts from you guys would be great. That would be really awesome. Okay. Yeah, and one more thing I want to mention just before I let you go too, guys. Thanks for your any input on that. Uh, just be, just quickly before I let you go, I want to give a huge, huge, huge shout out to Back Creek Brewing and Hoppy Brewer UK for starting and all the work and effort that they put into the 17 Crew website. Um, I am, you know, I'm still kind of caught off guard as to the fact that uh, I was, you know, involved with that and I'm really really happy ex ex you know extremely happy to be involved with something like that it's really awesome um, uh, you know just kind of lost for words a little bit that somebody would involve me with something like that really really do appreciate it guys from this end from Jake's end here and uh, yeah big shout out to those guys that did an excellent job on the website excellent job and um, hopefully that you know there's there's been you know it's been, it's been off to a great start so far by 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 what I'm you know being told and what I what I'm seeing and excellent it's it's really wicked and uh you know all the best in the in the future with it hopefully it uh hopefully it does really well and and uh yeah it's great I'm really happy to be part of that I want to thank you guys I want to give you a big shout out to guys anybody else watching this video if you haven't gone check the website out yet Go check it out. I know I already posted it in one of you know a couple of videos ago in a beer pour, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it right underneath this video immediately, right away. Not uh, six eight hours later. I'll put it under right away, and uh, yeah, go check it out. It's an awesome place, and it's gonna keep building and building and building and building, and uh, yeah, I'm hoping you're gonna like it. I hope you guys are gonna like it. Just wanna check it out right quick. Pretty cool. And so there you go. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to get going now. I don't want to hold you up any longer. Cheers, everybody. I'm going to enjoy this uh, cider. I think so. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Cheers, guys. Keep your mugs full. See you.